Welcome to our educational video on neoplasia. We will explore about neoplasia, neoplasm, nomenclature, types of neoplasms, and special categories of tumor. What is neoplasia? Neoplasia means new growth. The new growth produced is called neoplasm. Let's try to understand how they arise. Any neoplasm in body arise from single cell that has undergone genetic mutation or multiple mutations. Therefore, neoplasms are clonal in nature. Due to these mutations, these cells has advantage of survival and growth resulting in abnormal proliferation and producing massive tissue called neoplasm. Neoplasm is a massive tissue formed as a result of abnormal, excessive, uncoordinated, autonomous, and purposeless proliferation of cells even after cessation of stimulus for growth which caused it. So a neoplasm is essentially an uncontrolled, unnecessary, and rebellious growth of cells that doesn't stop even when it should. Normally, growth stops when the need is met. The proliferation and maturation of cells in normal adults is controlled as a result of which some cells proliferate throughout life, which are labile cells. Some have limited proliferation, which are stable cells, while others do not replicate, which are permanent cells. On the other hand, neoplastic cells lose control and regulation of replication and form an abnormal massive tissue, even if whatever triggered the growth is gone, the growth continues. And the branch of science dealing in the study of neoplasms or tumors is called oncology. Let's look into the nomenclature and types of neoplasms. Neoplasms or tumors may be benign or malignant. All tumors, benign as well as malignant, have two basic components, parenchyma and supportive stroma. Parenchyma comprised by proliferating tumor cells while supportive stroma composed of fibrous connective tissue and blood vessels. The tumors derive their nomenclature on the basis of the parenchymal component comprising them. The suffix oma is used to indicate benign tumors. Malignant tumors of epithelial origin are called carcinomas, while malignant mesenchymal tumors are named sarcomas. Let's study about the types of neoplasms or tumors. There are two types of tumors, benign tumors and malignant tumors. Benign tumors end with suffix oma of either epithelial or mesenchymal, while malignant tumors of epithelial origin are called carcinomas, while malignant mesenchymal tumors are called sarcomas. However, some cancers are composed of highly undifferentiated cells and are referred to as undifferentiated malignant tumors. Benign tumors are slow-growing and localized without causing much difficulty to the host, while malignant tumors proliferate rapidly, spread throughout the body, and may eventually cause death of the host. These are some examples of benign and malignant tumors of various epithelial and mesenchymal tissues. However, there are some exceptions related to malignant tumors. These tumors are malignant but end with suffixoma. Those are melanomas, lymphoma, mesothelioma, and seminoma. There are some other types of tumors which can be categorized in various ways, often based on their histological characteristics, behavior, and origin. They are mixed tumors, teratomas, blastomas or embryomas, hematoma, and chorostoma. These tumors defy the generalization and nomenclature which are explained a few minutes ago. Let's look and understand each type. Mixed tumors are mainly two types, adenosquamous carcinoma and adenocanthoma. Adenosquamous carcinoma is the combination of adenocarcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma in the endometrium. Adenocanthoma is the mixture of adenocarcinoma and benign squamous elements in the endometrium. There are also other types of mixed tumors. Carcinosarcoma, which is the rare combination of malignant tumor of the epithelium and of mesenchymal tissue such as in thyroid. Collision tumor, it is the term used for morphologically two different cancers in the same organ which do not mix with each other. And the last one, pomorphic adenoma or mixed tumor of the salivary gland. It is the benign tumor having combination of both epithelial mesenchymal tissue elements. Teratomas, they develop from totiputin cells originating from the three germ cell layers. Ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. Teratomas are primarily found in the ovaries and testes, but can also occur in extragonadal sites like the head, neck, mediastinum, retroperitoneum, and sacrococcygeal region. They can be benign and mature, common in ovarian teratomas, or malignant and immature, common in testicular teratomas. Blastomas are embryomas. They arise from embryonal or partially differentiated cells. They are malignant tumors. They are seen in neuroblastoma, nephroblastoma, hepatoblastoma, retinoblastoma, metalloblastoma, and pulmonary blastoma. Hematoma. It is benign tumor composed of mature but disorganized cells of tissues indigenous to the affected organ. All mature differentiated tissue elements of the affected organ are present but in disorganized mass. So, 
Basically, hematoma is an abnormally arranged tissue present at normal site, and it is benign tumor. Choristoma. It is normally arranged tissue at a different anatomical site. Choristoma is the name given to the ectopic islands of normal tissue. Thus, choristoma is heterotopia, but is not true tumor, though it sounds like one. It is seen in osteocartilaginous choristoma of lung and pancreatic choristoma of stomach. Choristoma differs with hematoma. In hematoma, the abnormally arranged tissue is present at normal site, but in choristoma, the normally arranged tissue is at different anatomical site. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe.